I'm Bob Phoebus, and we're at Farmstead Golf Course. Well, I married the next door neighbor, and I've been working here since I could uh, drive, which was about 12. And that's what I've been doing for the last 60 years. <laughs> Well, my father started it. It was a dairy farm. There was cows here. When I got here, the cows were gone. We started with nine holes in 1963. Then we built another nine, uh, Lakeview, and then we added another nine, Valley View, so we have a total of 27 holes. And now we're putting in this golf course. <laughs> or do you want people to be going around now? Or do we want people to go any? Or do we want them to be able to do both? Going pretty smoothly. Actually, Justin introduced me to Steve, and that's how we got it going. I'm Steve Brinster. Uh, I've been playing disc golf since 1994 and professionally since 1997. We were at Farmstead Country Club in Lafayette, New Jersey. Beautiful piece of property, and it's, uh, I'm pretty excited to be out here designing a disc golf course. You want that to be a par four? Because there's a way to make it so that there's two part. You could have... We could go par three, par three then. Yeah. My name is Justin Choka, and I, I grew up about four minutes from here. When I think about disc golf, I think about ups and downs and awesome shots that you're shooting downhill or over stuff, and that back there is like the perfect piece like that. No, I do not play disc golf. <laughs> When I was a kid, Frisbees were invented, and that, we played with them all the time. There was no disc golf at that time, but we threw them at each other, you know. <laughs> now there's a target you aim at, yeah. One thing that I'm thinking about that Steve's always thinking about is how the trees look to prune them to make it look cool for the line that the disc is gonna go. So when I'm sitting there, I, it'll take me 20 minutes to pick the branches that I wanna cut. That's where coming into playing golf and disc golf kind of helps with seeing the vision of the fairway. One of the biggest feats that we've made here is our design for the tee pads. It's taking some time, but we actually took pre-molds because we weren't going to get a cement truck out to the out there to all the holes, and we weren't going to mix 50 bags of concrete. Like we weren't bringing the bags out there and doing it one by one. That was going to take too long if we wanted to get this done in like a year and a half, which is what it looks like it's going to be from start to finish with design. This we poured 12 tee pads off one cement truck and made prefabs that I could move with my machine in from the spot that we poured them out to where they were. And to the point that we were able to get eight tee pads done in four days of time.
The baskets were the easiest ever at, with this project because we had a PTO driven tractor and we had a post haul digger and auger. So this way we could machine them right in. Pretty much we had 18 holes in and cemented in 24 hours total. Looks pretty good. I thought it, went, it looked like it went deep. I just can't, I just like seeing a project from start to finish and if we're gonna have people coming out here to pay to play, I want it to be as spotless as a normal golf course would be. So I've been really out here trying to focus on the fine details and like keeping stuff clean so when people come out here to pay to play, they, they really feel they got what they deserve. I mean, Justin's the driving force behind this course, without a doubt. This was his vision, and Justin had, you know, come to me with a couple other projects, and his passion for disc golf is just leaking into this right now. And, you know, we've got a great course on hand and a great facility, and I really just, I can't wait to show it off to everybody. The course has a great opportunity. It has it all. You're going to have a full pro shop. You're going to have the opportunity to rent carts. You've got a premier 18-hole course, and it's the only one in the county. So I think the opportunity is absolutely here. Disc golf in general has been begging for pay-to-play courses for a long time. And when you go out to a place like this, it's going to be premier. The course is in perfect condition. The tee pads are perfect. The baskets are all brand new. People want that experience. Well, I'm, we're ready to get going. Get some good weather and get the rest of the tea pads in, we'll get things fired up.